morning swans and falcons, it's Miss Jennings here with another maths lesson for you all. How did you get on with yesterday's maths? Dividing decimals by whole numbers. Perhaps you could let us know on the blog how you did. Okay, so today our learning intention is, can I use division to solve problems? Pause the video now to get that learning intention written down before we carry on. Okay, so the first problem we're going to be looking at together is this one. Ron has helped his mum wash the car seven times. He gets the same amount of money each time he helps. Ron has earned £29.40 in total. How much money does he get each time he washes the car? So the first thing we need to do is actually figure out what the question is asking us. What we need to work out is how much money Ron receives each time he washes the car. Okay, so let's look at what facts we already know. We know that Ron has earned £29.40 in total. We also know that he's washed the car seven times. So to find out how much money he receives each time he washes the car, what do we need to do? We need to divide £29.40 by seven. Okay, let's do that together. Here we go, so I've got my short division set up here. £29.40 divided by 7. So how many 7s go into 2? We can't do that, can we? OK, so how many 7s go into 29? Now, using my times table knowledge, I know that 7 times 4 is 28. OK, so I can put a 4 up here, but that means I've got 1 left over. So I carry my 1 over with my 4, so I now have 14. So I also know that seven times two is 14. So I can put a two up here. Remember your decimal point. There we go. Okay, so 4.2 is our answer. But we're talking about money, aren't we? So actually, our answer is, Ron receives four pounds and 20p each time he washes the car. Excellent. Okay, let's look, have a look at another one. So Eva, Mo, and Dexter are having a go at long jump. Eva says, I jumped 4.6 metres. Mo said, I jumped three quarters the length that Eva jumped. Dexter said, Eva jumped twice as far as me. How far did Mo and Dexter jump? Okay, so in this problem, we need to take the facts that we know which is, we know that Eva jumped 4.6 metres. Okay, so we know, there we go, Eva jumped 4.6 metres. And Mo has told us that I jumped three quarters of the length that Eva jumped. Okay, so let's have a look at Mo first. So what we need to work out is three quarters of 4.6. Here we go. And we can do this using a bar model because we need to find out three quarters of 4.6, but actually, first of all, we need to work out what one quarter is, and then we can multiply that by three to find out what three quarters is. We can do this using a bar model. So here's my bar split into four sections, okay? And I know that this whole bar equals 4.6. Okay, so what can I do to 4.6 to work out what one of those sections of that bar represents? So what we can do is we can take 4.6 and divide that by four because we have four sections, okay? So we already know what four sections is and we're trying to work out what one is. So 4.6 divided by four so we know that four goes into four once. How many times does four go into six? It goes in once. And then we have two left over. So I'm gonna to have to add a zero in there. Okay, how many times does four go into 20? That's right, five. So we now know that one of our sections of our bar is equal to 1.15. Okay, 
Okay, excellent. So what would my next step be? Have a think. So now I know that one quarter is equal to 1.15. What do I need to do to 1.15 to work out what three quarters is? right I need to multiply 1.15 by 3 so 3 times 5 we know is 15 3 times 1 is 3 add our 1 that we've carried over 3 times 1 is 3 so there we go we've just figured out that Mo jumped 3.45 meters so make sure when you do your answers you add a little M on the end to show that we know that the units is in meters Okay, excellent. So let's go back to our question. So we've worked out now that Mo jumped, let's write this down, 3.45 metres. Okay, now we need to have a look at how far Dexter jumped. So Dexter said, Eva jumped twice as far as me. Okay, so we know that Eva jumped 4.6 metres, and that's twice as far as what Dexter jumped. So how might we work out how far Dexter jumped? Have a think. Okay, let's have a look at this together. Okay, here we go. So again, I've got another bar model here. So we know that Eva jumped twice as far as Dexter. Okay, so with my bar, I've got one block to show how far Dexter jumped, and then I've doubled that with two blocks to show how far Eva jumped, because I know she jumped twice as far as Dexter. So we know that Eva's bar is equal to 4.6 metres. Okay, so I can use division to work out how far Dexter jumped, and if he jumped half as far, what do I need to divide by? Two, that's right. So, I'm going to write 4.6 here, divided by 2. Okay, so how many times does 2 go into 4? That's 2. How many times does 4 go into 6? That's 3. Excellent. So I now know that Dexter jumped 2.3 metres. Lovely. So let's go back to our question. There we go. Dexter jumped 2.3 metres. So we can actually see that Eva definitely jumped the furthest. Okay, lovely. So now, look at your worksheet and see if you can answer the rest of the questions.